So we saved another one from the fire. And we decided to make it as a kiddish cup or kiddish goblet. Kiddish goblet or kiddish cup is it's a cup that you pour wine in and you uh, on Friday night before the, the Sabbath you have a pray and you pray for the um, before you eat and you make some you make a pray and you also thanks for the thanks God for the wine grapes so you can make wine and for the bread and everything so this is a kiddish wine cup with a saucer that I'm doing and I'm doing it for a good friend of mine um, that saw one of the, that saw the goblet that I made some time ago and he liked it very much so I said I pr promised to make him one and this is the one that I'm making and I'm starting um, with the saucer for it first and before anything else I want to say thank you to each one of you that that joined me back again on my YouTube channel and watching my channel and um, supporting my channel. Thank you very, very, very much. And don't forget, of course, to subscribe and to sign that you like it and put some comments at the bottom. Simple a saucer, um, wild olive. You saw it before. The finish here, it's going to be... Um, uh, Yorkshire grid and um, Obishan juice. I'm going to use the black line parting tool to part it. First, I'm making a small indentation, a, a groove, like a I'm creating like a shape that I wanted and then I'll part it um, nice and clean. And the only thing that will be left for me is to uh, just clean it in the back. Um, and maybe, maybe I'm going to put later um, felt over there. I'm drilling in 20 mil, 22 mil, so the center won't jump out when, when I work with it. And now I'm aiming to do a tenon. Uh, so it will be easier to hold it and it's not going to stop and um, and run around. The end of the wood wasn't so nice and it wasn't so clean. So I decided I'm going to cut a piece off. So I'll, I'll get to a, to a square. So it will be easier to work later. So I'm, I'm creating like a 90 degree square over there. So when I'll put it in the chuck, it will sit uh, flesh. The idea was that I'll create a cylinder, and I'm, I've got a, like a like a Greek yogurt cup that I'm going to use as the vessel, and you'll see I'm, I'm measuring it now. But when I looked at it in a longer in a longer um, um, opportunity, and, and I found that it, it's not sitting properly, so I used a, a tube. As you'll see now, what I done here is I cut in an angle. The, the wood but with a half a half a angle so it's a bit like it's a piece missing and you will see now how it looks like um, it's like 45 degrees angle that I cut on the bench saw and now that's that's going to be the vessel that I'm going to use um, the other thing that I'm doing here is that I'm using a uh, hylogrammic uh, powder and it's a little bit heavy, so usually they, it sits at the bottom and it does, even if I put it in the resin and I mix it, by the time that the resin gets gelled, it falls in the bottom. So what I tried to do is, I, with my hand, I created a little bit of electric static on the tube, and you will see that um, there is 
some of the sparkles sitting on the side of the tube that I hope um, it will uh, get into the resin and it will stay there. Um, clear resin, resin for art, and I'll put it on four, four and a half uh, and I'll leave it uh, for uh, 24 hours, uh, 36 hours. And that's how it came out from the two days later from the pressure pot. You see here in the back, you will see the, all the sparkling standing over there, but I think that some of that did stick to the, to the, to the vessel and got into the, into the resin, to the outside of the resin. It will give it a small sparkle. This is a, a goblet, uh, a kiddush goblet that I got at home that I don't use quite sometimes, but I, I like the shape and I'll try to go similar to the shape. If I'll succeed, I'll be happy, but that's the idea, uh, the dimension of the, of the goblet that I'm trying to do. Putting together all the measurements and now I'm going to drill the hole of the inside of the goblet and of course afterward I'm going to use the, the black line uh, V-shape um, tool and I'm going to hollow with it. I have to be very careful so I won't go too too narrow because uh, I still have to work on the outside of the goblet and create the shape that I created on the from the inside to create on the outside. So if I go too too thin now, um, I will have no meat on the outside to do a rectifier. Now just to clean it up nicely, I'm going to use a, a round carbide, um, the black line carbide. As usual, 150 all the way to 600 because I use uh, I've got resin. After the 600, and I do everything on the inside now because the outside I didn't even touch it. But um, I will have to clear it as much as possible from the inside, and then I will start doing the shape on the outside. Um, like I said. Um, 150 to 600 in between I clean all the time with um, with alcohol and now I'm going to wet sand the pads um, that I'm, go I'm using the um, the medium the fine extra fine and the micro fine pads uh, water pads with water sanding and then I'm going to use um, as usual that what I do is the Novas 3.2 um, to clean up and to polish it out nicely um, till the end, till the where I can see as much as possible. I can see that the, I can see the clearness it, that I'm getting. Slowly, slowly, you can see uh, that it start to get a little bit clearer and clearer, and you can see the rim of the sparkling on the edge of the of the goblet, and that was the whole idea to have like a goldish rim around it, um, sparkling, but not too much, not in your face, just a little bit. Now, on the creation on the outside of the shape, uh, I have to be very careful not to go too thin um, and not to go 
too thin on the, in the end because then I'll have a stamp and a cup and no goblet. Every day I'm telling myself, why don't you make an accessory that to measure the... You can get them, you can buy them, or you can make one of themselves that crosses and it goes for the depthness. But, you know, laziness, laziness, and other things that I do, so... And every time I need to use it, I say, why didn't you do it, why didn't you do it? Exactly the same here I'm doing outside. Uh, 150, 600, uh, water uh, sending... And then, of course, the polish uh, from uh, Novas 3.2. So, as we said, uh, you get stuck into a project and then you get stuck into a project. And every day you say, I will do, I will do this uh, tool tomorrow, I'll do this tool tomorrow. And tomorrow never comes because something else comes and some idea comes again. And um, by the way, ideas... Uh, somebody asked me, where do I come with those ideas that I've got all the time? I don't have them all the time, but with the ideas I'm getting. So what I do is I've got a pad that sits in, in, in the room, not far away from the bedroom. And when I dream about an idea, I come and I write it down. I, I'm not lazy to say I'll remember in the morning. And in the morning I'm going and I'm checking what did I write down. It. And sometimes it's a good idea. And sometimes I'm saying to myself, hey, what did you smoke? to come with this idea. You must smoke something illegal or something very good because to, coming with this idea, it's funny. So that's where, more or less where is my idea coming. They're coming at, to me most, most of the time at night um, and um, I write them down and some of them are good and some of them are stupid. And But I'm trying all of them. Some of them success and some of them don't succeed. And you see the good ones and you see the bad ones. You see all of them. I don't hide the... The one that I don't like, I put all of them on, on YouTube. For some reason or another, it got slightly out of balance and I tried to put it back into, um, because I marked, uh, the tenon I marked at first with the line where it sits, I usually do it all the time. Uh, I'm just creating here a nice step for decoration and then I'm going to burn a line into this one. Uh, you can see it now. And... Um, I'm going back. Uh, when I put a when I put um, a tent into the chuck, <coughs> sorry, I mark it. So if if it goes out of alignment, it's easier for me to um, to fix it. The wood, the same paper, all the way to um, 400, and then Yorkshire grid, and then, of course, Obi Shine Juice, and that basically will be the, the total finish of this one. But you will have to see it as it's finished, how beautiful it sits with, um, with um, the saucer. Now I'm going to, sp I'm going to um, part it, black line, parting tool, uh, very careful, and I'm I'm parting it in an angle, so I'll have a I'll have a wave wave in the, at the bottom, so it will be easier for me to put my logo also in. Is that's how it looks like? Quite quite clear, and don't please don't forget to subscribe like my channel, and the most important is put your comments. You like it, you don't like it. I strive on comments. So thank you very much for watching my video and coming back to my channels. Cheers. See you on my next video.